How y'all doing out there? Monster here, bassist for Jugular. Here to talk to you today about the Seymour Duncan Blackout pickups. I uh, came to Seymour Duncan about a year ago. We were talking about these pickups. And I gotta tell you, as a bass player, and especially a metal bass player, these by far are the pickups to be using. I use these six string pickups on my four string bass. And on my uh, 12 string basses, I use the four string pickups. Just because I'm wrong. But it works, and that's all that matters. Seymour Duncan's got a great line of blackouts. They've got the, uh, the baseline ones for all you bass players out there with all the electronics that go along with it. The thing about blackouts that I love so much, unlike a lot of the other active pickups that are out there, they got all the punch that you want out of an active pickup, but they still have that organic feel that you like out of your favorite passive pickups, but you, with the sensitivity and punch of an active pickup. We're going to talk about some pedals here that I have tons of fun with. The Seymour Duncan Deja Vu pedal and the Seymour Duncan Shapeshifter. We're going to talk about the Deja Vu delay here, the tap delay. It's a really cool combination of old school analog bucket brigade delay with really cool digital delay. You can go in between the two, mix them. The next pedal we're going to talk about is the uh, Shapeshifter, which is a uh, tremolo pedal and you can actually tap the speed you want in there. My personal favorite is what I call the helicopter, where you can get that What I love about all of Seymour Duncan's pedals is when you turn them off, they are off. It's true bypass. There's no, you know, sometimes that weird ambient noise or, you know, it seems like all of a sudden your sound goes down or drops. You get none of that through any of the Seymour Duncan pedals.